Hello, welcome back to iBrightSoft channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover files in macOS Fixer on a T2 Encrypt Mac. Please see the timeline here to find your most interested part. Apple's T2 chip is a security chip soldered into the motherboard and works as a separate processor in addition to the Intel processor. This is a MacBook Air equipped with a T2 chip released in 2018. It has been upgraded to macOS Big Sur. I connect my Kingston USB flash drive 32GB to the Mac using a USB hub. On these newer Macs, they don't use USB 3.0 ports, but Type-C ports now. If your Mac only has two ports for external devices like this one, I recommend you get such a USB hub. Then the USB flash drive will be mounted on the desktop in a few seconds. Check about this Mac and then system report. Click on controller or iBridge, depending on your Mac model. You will see Apple T2 security chip under controller information. I'm going to test iBoysoft data recovery for Mac on this T2 chip. MacBook Air running macOS Big Sur. First, I will delete those cute pictures for testing. This is my cat. My coffee mug. And a lovely puppy. I move them into trash and empty trash. In a situation of emptied trash, I have nowhere to find them in a normal way by using software. Open a browser and type in iBrightSoft.com. Go to Data Recovery and Mac Data Recovery Software. The software is fully compatible with Apple T2 chip and Mac OS 11. Click the free download button to get ready for the software installation. Scroll down, the software is powerful in deleted file recovery, lost file recovery, corrupted disk data recovery, unbootable Mac data recovery, etc. Double click the installer to install the software as instructed on screen. Then you can go to Finder, Applications Folder, or Launchpad to launch the software. After the software is successfully launched, all detected disks and the volumes will be listed including name, capacity, free space, and file system. Mac OS Big Sur will ask any third-party software to manually allow system extension update. You need to open security and click on allow. I have approved it, so I click OK here. I select the Kingston desk where I delete my photos. If the Free space is larger than 95%. The software will check disk scan automatically here. For deleted photo recovery, you need to uncheck this and hit scan. It's blazing fast. All found deleted files will be marked with a red cross and they are categorized into path, type, and time. I know I want to recover the photos, so I go to type and select the photos folder. All found deleted photos are here. When I click on a photo, a thumbnail can be previewed on the right. If you click on the preview button, you can preview it with a big picture. I take the small boxes in front of the photos I want to recover and click the recover button. Do not save recover the files to the same location where you delete them or lost them. I save them to the desktop folder. Do not exist the software unless you are sure you have recovered all files. Otherwise, you have to rescan the disk again. Let's check if photos are recovered. The software will create a folder to save the recovered files. You can see the recovery date and time. 
they are successfully recovered, even with the original file names. The free version supports one gigabyte free data recovery. If you need to scan Mac's internal storage value on an Intel processed Mac, you can directly select the disk or volume and scan it. But on a T2 secured Mac, I recommend you reboot the computer to Mac OS recovery mode and retrieve your Mac files from there for better recovery results. You will see the suggestion here. A detailed tutorial of how to do this is in video description. If you have to leave the recovery process due to low battery or emergency, the software offers you an option to save the scan result. The results will be saved as a separate file with a special form. Stay in the home window. Select the scan disk first and click here to load session. Select the saved scanning result. It will be loaded up. Recover from there. For lost files or more file recovery, you can use deep scan, but deep scan takes a lot longer time. Depending on the file volumes or sizes, it could take up hours for scanning. You can stop anytime. Those file filter buttons can help you better locate the files you want to recover. It can show certain files. It can show when you save the files by year and month. You can type in certain file name or file extension to find the specific files faster. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel or follow us on Facebook or Twitter for information of giveaways, discounts, software updates, and company events.